Fact number one is about Vivek and his strange relationship with two of the Daedric Princes. Vivek is a member of the Chimer race who if you don't know are ancestors of the Dark Elves and was one of the three living gods of Morrowind. He achieved a godlike state called Kim and it's generally agreed upon that he is one of the more powerful beings in the Elder Scrolls verse. Where things start to get weird is that Vivek is actually a hermaphrodite. And he also did some very strange things with the Daedric Prince of Rape and Domination, Molag Bal. Vivek and Molag Bal had sexual intercourse many times and had many children. What's more, it's stated that the two were married and Molag Bal removed Vivek's head while they did the deed. But the strangest part of all is that neither of them really have a gender because Vivek is a hermaphrodite and Daedric Princes are technically genderless. I know a lot of you probably think I'm trolling, but this is legitimately a thing in Elder Scrolls lore. In fact, let me read you some direct quotes from the 36 lessons of Vivek. Vivek looked upon the King of Rape and said, How beautiful you are, that you do not join us. I would prefer, he said, some kind of ceremony if we are to be married. We must love each other briefly, Vivek said, if at all. You may have my head for an hour. Later in the lessons, it stated, and I quote, Vivek lay with Molag Ball for eight days and eight, though headless. But wait, there's more! In the lessons of Vivek, it stated that Vivek was in possession of a powerful spear that he called Muatra. He crafted the spear from a secret that was bitten off from Molag Ball, and then used the spear to stab the Daedric Prince Azura in the mouth. Which is all good and well, until you consider the fact that Muatra is a euphemism for Vivek's penis. There's a lot of different ways to look at this, and the situation is a bit complex, but one interpretation is that Vivek bit off the Prince of Rape's cock, used this to create a powerful spear, and named his new spear penis Muatra. Vivek then proceeded to stuff it in Azura's mouth, causing her to choke and explode. 